Welcome everyone, I'm Spiro, thanks for tuning in. There's a lot going on and a lot to cover, but in this report I'd like to specifically focus on one of the major changes coming our way as we transition into the Great Reset and the new digitalized system of control, and that is digital IDs. A topic we have covered here on the show previously, uh, I'll leave links for uh, some in-depth reports on that uh, regarding the UN's work with the Gates Foundation and ID2020, among many others, to establish a digital identity and birth registration for everyone on the planet under Sustainable Development Goal 16.9, which is part of the UN's 2030 agenda. But for now, uh, I want to focus on this news that just came out here uh, within the past couple days. The International Civil Aviation Organization, which is a specialized agency under the United Nations, has announced they are one step closer to bringing digital identity-based travel to a reality as they have endorsed specifications for the first digital travel credentials. Now, additionally, the United Nations just announced that they are rolling out its own biometric digital identity wallet. As you can see here on Biometric Update, the UN Digital Solutions Center is a pilot project for the World Food Program, which is a United Nations program, and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and the United Nations International Computing Center, which I have reported on previously, that was very instrumental in the development uh, and implementation and rollout of 5G almost a decade ago. Uh, so this particular UN biometric digital wallet is intended for UN employees and it can be used for uh, data related to human resources, medical status, i.e. You know, vaccine status, travel, there's your health passport, payroll and pensions. It's going to be hooked up to your financials. Now this uh, can also be used for onboarding new employees or helping transition those who are leaving or retiring away from the organization. Now here is a quick promo video. Digital transformation is changing the way we manage our data, our information, our interactions, and our identities online. The United Nations is ready to digitally transform how it deals with identity, with a system to streamline information sharing, daily workflows, access to platforms and buildings, operating across agencies by providing its personnel with a universal system-wide identity solution. Introducing the UN Digital ID. A unique and digital identity for UN personnel from the day you join to the day you part. All of your personal, HR, medical, travel, security, payroll and pension data in the palm of your hand, giving you full control on what you share and with whom. With blockchain and biometrics, the UN Digital ID makes verification efficient, secure, transparent, immutable, portable and universal. It's been piloted by different agencies and the UN Pension Fund, where they've replaced current manual processes with certainty for who and where pension recipients say they are at any given time. Imagine a regional field office has just joined the UN. She uses the mobile app to obtain a digital wallet, stored securely in her smartphone and only accessible to her with biometrics. Even better than a physical wallet, she can store all her credentials issued by any UN organization in her digital wallet. She has immediate access to course certificates, travel clearances from UNDSS, medical records from allergies to vaccinations, also making any transfer to another organization a breeze. As innovation transforms the world, we can improve the way we manage our identities online. UN Digital IDs, a building block for digital cooperation, unlocking the promise of the SDGs. I hope you see where this is going. Every aspect of our lives will be centrally digitalized using biometrics, uh, AI, 5G, and in many cases, blockchain. Uh, and when you hear the so-called stakeholders, such as the United Nations or the central banks or governments or the World Economic Forum, who just blocked me on Twitter the other day, reference the private sector, they are talking about tech companies, fintech companies like Ripple or foundations like IOTA, who are currently working on digital IDs, distributed ledger technology, cryptocurrencies, smart cities, and the Internet of Things, just to name a few. Uh, this is the new digital system of control the social engineers are referring to when they talk about the Great Reset, along with the social controls via United Nations Agenda 21 and the merger of man and machine via the World Economic Forum's Fourth Industrial Revolution, which Musk's uh, brain chip uh, Neuralink fits into nicely, doesn't it? Now, all of these pieces of the puzzle are hiding out there in plain sight. And of course, this new system is being ushered in and justified by the current manufactured crisis. This is classic problem reaction solution in real time. And it's not just happening in some far off land halfway around the world. Uh, and you have years before it will affect you. This is the rollout slash implementation phase. Example, just today, 
Acquaint, a leading global provider of identity verification solutions, announced today that it has become an official member of the Digital ID and Authentication Council of Canada. And when you look at their partners, it's crypto exchanges, credit card companies, banks, and what are they interested in? Well, this says right here, uh, document authentication, behavior data, biometric verification, liveliness detection, transactions, your personal data, digital footprint. And what industries are they working in? Well, currently they're working in retail, telecom, health, finance, banking, transportation, slash travel, government and border controls. All of these aspects will be part of your digital identity, including your credit and possibly social credit scores. Uh, just today, they announced a partnership with Canada's government. So this is moving forward uh, day by day. And there are countless other examples like MasterCard working on biometric immunization records for the Wellness Pass, another digital health passport. Now, why would a credit card company be interested or concerned about your current immunization status? I'm sure you can see or imagine where this may be going. For example, Spiro, you didn't get your latest shot, your booster shot. Uh, we'll have to impose travel restrictions upon you. Uh, you can't go to work, and we're going to freeze your assets or your payments until you comply. Uh, is that really too far off? Because it certainly seems that they're setting up the framework for uh, a coercion scheme just like that. They may not have to mandate anything after all if they can encourage you to obey. Now, although we are seeing more talk about uh, restrictions on those who do not comply, for example, uh, for going to pubs or restaurants or even to their places of work, uh, it, this is in the news this week out of the UK. Now, uh, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this one. Remember, this manufactured crisis isn't going away by itself. Uh, the amount of tyranny people will live under is the exact amount people will tolerate. And the United Nations is making big moves along with uh, a lot of other companies right now heading towards this new digital system of control. I'm Spiro. Thanks for watching.